Hey guys. Welcome back. This is the second video. If you're just joining us, the first one was about working with palette knives and color. Uh, this is what I produced last time when I talked about using your palette knife to basically skim across the paint and allow the color in the back to show through and not mix the colors all together. Now, if you missed the first video, it's all right. Um, basically, I talked about how you can just throw paint on and work it around and not to be scared. But I understand that, you know, that's really difficult for a lot of people. And, you know, for me, I kind of discovered this by just, I would move through paintings when I first started painting so fast that I'd set them aside and put a new canvas up and I'd throw paint right on the canvas and get going again. Well, I didn't realize I was throwing paint on other canvases. So this was one of the first ones that I kind of had to and want to keep and try to figure out how I can make it work. And what I did was I basically threw some gray paint and it created a huge blob right here. And so all I had originally was his face and a clock. And these came about by individual splatters. And I was, you know, really into Dolly at the time. And I was looking at some of his paintings and then I saw, you know, a way to basically take that mistake of all this gray and these splats and make them work into what I think is a pretty, pretty neat way to display some of his uh, ideas. And, you know, it, it, it really helped tie, tie it together, I think. Now, you guys submitted some of your first uh, video trial here with, that you submitted, and I'd like to go ahead and show some of those. Those were awesome, guys. Uh, those definitely surprised me. You all really picked it up really quick. And for those of you that haven't done it yet, uh, go check out the first video if you like and give it a try. If not, then this video, we're gonna talk about basically what happens when paint gets splattered on a painting and how you can make it work. So for me, let's say something like that accidentally happens. So now I'm trying to think of a creative way to make a big red blob work with this right here. And the first thing that I think of is an apple. And then, you know, it's red, it's cool. But I'll, I don't want to cover my whole canvas and with what I just painted. And I really like certain parts of it. And so, you know, for me to be able to bring out other aspects, I feel like that I don't want to have to cover up with this red paint. I'm thinking it'd be cool if there was a bite taken out and these colors were represented of the bite. And so that's, that's kind of the direction I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna get started on this. Um, I'd like for you guys to maybe think of something that you see maybe in your abstract painting or, uh, you know, Pick out a color that represents uh, a fruit or an object that you'd like to paint and think of a way to maybe show something through or, or allow the you know painting to, to still work for you.
All right, folks, I've got my idea laid out, as you can see. I've got an apple going here, I think, and maybe where the bite's gonna come out. And then in the process, I got excited and I started throwing some paint on there. And I thought since, you know, this was supposed to be inspired by a mistake, I'd continue on and make the process a little more difficult for myself. No, I'm just kidding. I had the idea that I wanted the splatter to come from behind, so I went ahead and did that. And I'm gonna go back over and put some detail and line out my apple and uh, paint over top of this. And I'll, you know, I'll do that when that dries. And I'll show you guys how that turned out at the end of this video. I know. You know, I hope that this video right here has helped you guys uh, accept or maybe understand that, you know, a mistake is just sometimes part of art and it might even help you discover, you know, a new way of looking at a painting or there's something you didn't see in it before. And it did for me and, you know, I'm, it helped me also kind of look at things a little different. And, you know, if you don't like the direction something's headed, that's the, that's the wonderful thing about art. You know, it's just paint, paint over it, start over again. Throw some white on there, you'll have a really nice texture. So, guys, I, I've enjoyed this one. I look forward to the next one. I'm going to take an idea, look for inspiration, uh, maybe sketch it out, a picture or something, uh, put it on canvas, and then give you uh, the process of putting it, taking it to a product or, you know, finding other ways to sell your art other than just on canvas.